Hi everyone and welcome back to Raining Cake. So today's video is going to be all about my June beauty favourites and I say this every single time I make a favourites video that I can't actually believe it's already the end of June and I'm really happy because the weather is going to turn really nice hopefully very soon um, well according to the weather forecast anyway but I'm also like oh my god it's already the end of June and then it's going to be July and then after that it's August, September and then it's going to be Christmas so yeah this year is just flying by so so quick and I do apologise for my voice I do have a bit of a blocked nose um, so yeah I'm a bit bunged up in that kind of sense so yeah my voice might be a little off key um, so I'm going to start off with um, my usual category which is hair and then move on to body, skin and then makeup so yeah so I really hope you enjoy the video so I'm going to start off with obviously like I just said as my categories um, with hair so I have been loving absolutely loving the Liz Earl um, Botanical Shine shampoo and the Botanical Shine sh um, conditioner shampoo I was gonna say shampoo again conditioner for dry and damaged hair so as you can see I have colored hair so um, for like making sure that it stays sort of like soft and smooth I tend to go for um, conditioners that are obviously for um, damaged hair um, you know colored hair or hair that is like I mean conditioners basically like for just dry hair and this has been really really amazing for my hair and although I have used um, colored kind of the last month I used bleach the bleach um, live forever conditioner no silver conditioner sorry and the live forever shampoo and that was really good as well um but that ran out really really quickly so then i moved on to this and i absolutely love it it has the um the conditioners have the new color i think it's called kalahari melon oil and it's really really good for the hair and it really makes it soft and smooth and shiny and with the um shampoo conditioner i've also been using the botanical shine nourishing hair oil which again also has the kalahari melon oil in it um it's actually melon yeah melon oil and it actually is a new formulation because previously they had um I think something called Yangu oil um, but they were no longer able to source that type of oil so they had to look for an alternative and the Kalahari melon oil was the next best um, if not even better um, so yes yeah, so I've been using this for my hair so I wash my hair put some in blow dry and my hair is absolutely amazing really soft smells amazing and yeah so I really recommend trying out this if you haven't so moving on to body, I have three items. So the first one is a gradual tan and it's actually an in-shower gradual tan by Saint Tropez and this stuff has been hyped about in the blogging world for a while and it is incredible. Like as in it just, um, it doesn't take long, you shower, you pull it on. So it's a bit like the Nivea in-shower conditioner when that first came out. So you shower, you pull it on your skin, leave it for three minutes. So I just kind of sand about in the shower just flowing about you know thinking about things thinking about my day and then three minutes go past you just rinse it off and the tan then develops throughout the day so you do get this sort of like a scent of the fake tan throughout the day like sometimes I can smell it um, but that's just it like obviously developing and then becoming tan on your skin um, yeah so it's incredible I love it so much and I think it's only like 14 pounds which isn't too expensive i know the shower conditioners are cheap like the nivy one's probably like two or three pounds but this one 14 pounds i don't think is a lot of money and it really does work really nicely and i just really love it so i highly recommend that the next item is the body shop fuji green tea bath tea and um this is bath salts and i use it along with this little strainer thing um which is also from the body shop because it's part of the set and um so this is what it looks like if i take it out of the tin and it smells really really nice i love i love the scent so much so it looks a bit like this so they're like salts and then you just take a bit and then you put it into the strainer and then you hang the strainer onto the bath where the water runs and then just let the water run over it and it creates a lovely lovely nice um bath for you to soak in and it just smells incredible i can't get over how great it smells and how it feels on the skin i literally could live in the bath when i've got um this running in it it's just so so nice and i think it was probably about eight pounds uh, or something like that 
and a strainer was about five so but obviously you don't need to get another strainer after you've got that if you're gonna top it up you just need to get the bath and then the bath soak soak salts thing um yeah so moving on um next thing i have from the body the well, the last thing i have is this um body cream well fresh moisturizing body gel and it's by le Coven de minimis i think that's the right word to say but it smells so so nice it smells so nice like literally and it's so light like it's perfect just perfect oh it smells so good um, perfect for summer months because it's like a gel body cream so um, it sinks into your skin straight away smells I can't get over that it smells and me lately I just like I'm really weird with smells all of a sudden I'm just like everything just smells so good but yeah no it's really good for the summer months especially now that it's getting hotter and you need to moisturize quickly put your clothes on go to work go to school um, wherever you're going and it just sinks in it leaves your skin smooth and soft and smells amazing throughout the day so yeah so I'm loving that so moving on to skincare I have one item it, this is the Dermalogica skin smoothing cream and this is um, more for sort of like dry dehydrated skin and um, I tend to have more oily skin but lately I've been getting a bit more dry I don't know why maybe it's just because I'm a bit run down or anything like that so I've been using this and it's been really good it has really give my skin a lot of hydration like a lot of hydration but not too like overly hydrated to the point where it's just like bleh. Um, it's just a nice kind of hydration it's really it gives a really dewy finish as well so once I put my makeup on after it's kind of really it's shiny but it's not too shiny and it's just kind of nice and dewy yeah that's the perfect word that's my word today dewy um, okay so lastly moving on to makeup I have the Topshop BB cream and I like this a lot because it is a lot lighter than a lot of BB creams, cream, uh, creams that I've tried and I have been heading to the gym a lot lately and I know it's a bit weird when you wear makeup to the gym because you sweat anyway but um, I can't not go out of the house without something on so this has been perfect um and it isn't because because it isn't too heavy when i'm sweating i don't feel like it's like really horrible on my face and I'm, i don't sweat a lot when i'm at the gym i sweat a little bit but it's not like like drenched um so this has been really good and it just gives the right amount of coverage um it feels light on the skin and just just gives me that little bit of color and coverage basically um and then so my skin's just not so bare and i really really like that um the other thing i have the body shop all in one <clears throat> sorry my throat insta blur eye and i finished my my most loved smashbox um eye primer and that's like one of my favorite eye primers ever um, so i started trying out this one and this one is a tinted concealer and primer and color intensifier sorry about the noise um but yeah, no, it's really good to prime for, for priming and to conceal, like just to give a little bit of coverage around the eyes, um, just so it isn't too bare. And yeah, it does hold my eyeshadow really nicely. And I just love it. I think it's really nice that it's got that little bit of tint just to sort of enhance the eyeshadow a little bit more. Um, next one I have is the Clinique Chubby Stick. And I love this. I've been smelling things lately. Um, I love this. Oh gosh. I love this uh, for contouring lately and all I have to do is so so easy brush this just lines 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 and then literally buff in with the brush and it gives me a super super nice contour like incredible amazing looking contour and it's just so easy to use and so easy to blend and I highly recommend trying it out it's about 19 pounds um isn't too pricey but isn't the most cheapest but um yeah highly recommend trying it really love it and the last, last item i have is an eyeshadow palette and this is the laroc pro palette and i think this has been in the blogging world for a very long time and i've only just managed to try it um, i'm sure it's been hyped about everywhere and i do get the hype because i do love it um, every single shade is just beautiful there are eight matte shades and eight shimmer shades and they're all just incredible like really work really well together so buttery and pigmented and just really really nice on the eyes and the colors are so um neutral perfect for every day and just i love it i love it so much so yeah i highly recommend that if you are going to states or if you can get hold of it in the uk because i think you can now um to get hold of one and it really is worth the money 
so surprisingly no lip products in this favourite video I think I've had a lip product in every single favourites video but I haven't this time so that's a little bit different um, but anyway I really hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it I just spat everywhere please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you again in my next video bye guys